Hello and welcome to another edition of Quick Tips with Kim. Today I wanted to introduce you to a tool that is actually in Microsoft Word, but is actually really pretty useful for when you are developing content for your website. So when you're developing content for your website, we need to have it be at about a sixth grade reading level. Um, why? Because that's how we converse is at about a sixth grade reading level. And Google gives you more juice, I guess, um, if your content is readable at that level. Even though we tend to write at higher levels, because that's what we were trained in high school and college, is to write at a higher level, but uh, we converse at sixth grade level. So it's nice to know when you're writing something what level it's at, and it's actually a tool that you can find in Microsoft Word. So here I have a document of uh, that I've put together and you can go into the spelling and grammar. Um, but before you do that, you actually have to turn this on. It used to be automatically on in older versions of Word, but if you have an updated version of Word, you're going to have to go to File, Options, and Proofing, and Show Readability Statistics. I already have it turned on on mine, so it's already there. So you just click OK and then click OK. Then you go over and click Spelling and Grammar Check. Now, I've already done the Spelling and Grammar Check for this particular document, so I didn't have to take you through all of the that, um, you know, accept or change, um, so that we could get this readability statistics pop up. So you'll see right here that the Flesh Kincaid grade level is six and a half. So 6.5, which is great, right? Um, that is actually right about where I'd want it to be if I wanted to put it out on the web um, for the most people to read and interact with. So there's a little tip for you that um, you can use in Microsoft Word, but you'll want to take that out to your website because it's going to help with your SEO on your websites. So anyhow, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have questions or comments, drop them down in the comment. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye-bye.